Terminal C. Let me just get y'all. Ugh, my face looks so bad. Let me just get y'all updated with life and just what's going on with me. So I just came out of work and. Uh, pretty much I'm kind of looking for a new job like every once in a while I go through that phase of just wanting a new job cause this one I don't pay too much like $15 is okay but like I want more than $15 if I'm doing real with you and then the bi-weekly thing I don't really like so I'm like looking all over because I don't really like recording myself in public to be honest but yeah, I'm not really feeling the $15 an hour. Like, it's gotten better because now I have more hours. But like, imagine if I had a lot of hours at a higher paying job. So anyways, I was looking. And I got ex I got an interview for this one place as like a group counselor at the Boys and Girls Club. But I don't know if I should take it or not because it's like an after school thing. And I'm not going to be able to work throughout the year basically all year so like right now yeah i'm good i could do that but i don't think i'm gonna be able to do that when i go i start going to college because i'm really not trying to have my classes at the ass crack of dawn and that's what i would have to do in order to get my classes like you know online with my work schedule because they need you from two to to the like what six thirty yeah that's not a lot of hours honestly but it's like i'm gonna pay 18 dollars an hour so you know so I'm like should i stick with champs because i know it's more reliable and uh, i'm probably only gonna be able to close i hate closing but like i'm probably gonna have to do that when i start going to school anyways it's just like it's very all over the place i don't know what the fuck i want to do because chimps is more reliable and i'm just thinking about that like with school what if i quit chimps go to them and then i'm gonna have to quit them because uh, they're just not gonna have hours you know i'm gonna go to the meeting the interview and just see like is that the only hours that they have available that they need workers for or what also, my relationship is done. <laughs> Two years down the drain for what? Yeah. I don't know. If people want a story time on how we broke up, then, you know, just comment. I don't really care about talking about it. My job, they gave us gift cards. So, like, I got a Chipotle gift card for $50 because my manager, she knows I eat Chipotle every single day, bitch. Every single day. Well, not every single day, but like, if I'm not going to work quick, I'm probably going to Chipotle. So, I bought myself Chipotle. Gotta go bust that down when I get home. Yeah. It's cold as fuck. I'm texting people now and schedule my interview for Monday. Yeah, like. I'm scared because I just woke up and I'm like, can I schedule an interview for today? But I also took a shift of one of my coworkers, but thank God it's a closing, so I don't have until like three. And I scheduled my interview for 12, but I was like, I didn't get no email. Thank God I checked my email. I'm about to go get ready right now. I don't know if these people are gonna want me to have my camera on or what. I really don't wanna have my camera on. But I think I might just have to because I gotta give a, f a good first impression. So I might just have to put on the camera, even though I don't necessarily want to. Because I kind of look rough right now, to be honest. Even though I take a shower and stuff, like, I feel like I'm gonna look rough. I really hope this goes well. I'm gonna try to practice some questions i don't know like questions that i think they might ask me so i can have better and faster responses because this is like i don't know 
I feel like interviews online are easier. That's how I got my first job. Like, it wasn't a Zoom. It was a phone call. Literally just a phone call. But I still got the job. And it wasn't in person. I feel like in person, I'm way more nervous. I just got to come off confident. And, you know, have those good responses, you know. And this might be a good opportunity for me. You never know. I'm going to write down questions that I want to ask. I'm trying to be professional and after this breakup I really just need to get my life together and start worrying about myself making my money so $18 an hour is really good and it's Monday through Fridays maybe I could just do Saturday and Sunday's opening I'm out there more closing I don't even know I'll see how this pans out yeah I'll be back after the interview or whatever I get okay so this is like three four days later no not four days later maybe three days later and I did the interview. Um, I thought I did really good, but honestly, I don't even care if I get the job no more because I don't think I'm going to work there. One, because I've seen so many other opportunities that I can do during the summertime that would allow me to still keep my part-time job at Champs, which is what I really want to do because they're more reliable. I feel comfortable there. The managers really like me, and I feel like I would have leniency with them when it comes to my classes and my schedule. Just like right now, I left school early, and they put me on my schedule pretty frequently so the other jobs off the table the hours are terrible pay is all right but sometimes you gotta do what you're happy with and not just for the pay um also what was the next thing i was going to say oh for my college that i'm going to they sent me this like internship that is gonna be going on during the summer they pay 20 dollars an hour 19 hours a week and you can still keep your part-time job so i'm like shit i signed up for that real quick I'm gonna see if I get in though, and then there's also something for summer youth. So if I get into summer youth, obviously I'll do summer youth. If I get into that internship thing for the college, I'll do that. Whichever one comes first, honestly. And God, I think I might be going to prom. So yeah, there's probably gonna be some videos on that. I honestly just need to clear up my face, like ASAP, 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 ASAP because prom i'm not trying to have bumpy pimples everywhere and i'm breaking out bad and i need to get my eyebrows started but the problem is all the way in june i paid for the ticket i already got a wig in my cart that i think i want i'm probably gonna buy it my next paycheck and then what else do i need to do let me think um um oh this pimple is huge damn um i need to find somebody to install that way for me like now so i can book it now because i want it to be for the day before prom so i want to get my hair installed june 2nd or either like early early that day june 3rd so like maybe like one o'clock because prom is at 6 p.m and i'll be done around three come home start getting ready so yeah that's kind of the plan Cause I'm not getting, I'm not paying extra twenty five dollars to get curls, and they're all dropping before I even go to prom. But yeah, that's it for the vlog. Next one will probably be about prom. I'm not gonna lie, unless I decide to pick up the camera and do something else. But nothing really happens in my life. I'll be bored. So yeah. <laughs>